Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're going to be looking at some Arma 3. Uh, yes, I've gotten my computer fixed. Um, it, as many of you know, it went and died on me, but uh, I'm back and uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, get started. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, showcases for Arma 3. I'm going to start with infantry, work my way down through scuba, vehicles, etc, etc. And um, we're going to go ahead and look at the differences and uh, we'll say, uh, or if you're new to the Arma series, some of the features and some of the content uh, of Armor 3 before I go into any, you know, capture the island, the warfare type maps and uh, really start exploring it. Because right now the campaign is pretty much non-existent. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and restart this mission. Um, I was playing it earlier. Uh, this is actually like my 10th time trying to record this. So, engage in Armor 3's infantry combat. Follow your leader and move through the valley to support a friendly squad pinned down by enemy forces. And, uh, so I'll go ahead back up the team here. There's our team. Um, worker number five, Corporal Kelly. So signal, designation. So here's the situation. Hours ago, enemy forces launched a sudden attack from the north. They're steadily advancing south, driving us into the sea. Bravo has been pinned down by swift assault on their position. Now they're trapped inside the village and are in need of support. We're stretched thin and need to make a stand. An advanced element of your team has taken up a position in the valley. Regroup and report in Alpha. It's actually a typo there, but... Clear the area of uh, enemy forces with the assistance of Charlie and reinforce the village. And if you actually click on Charlie, it, the map will zoom in on where Charlie is. That's, that's a nice feature of the map here. So execution, we're going to regrip with the point man. Proceed cautiously through the valley toward the village and clear the area of enemy forces. And we've already looked at that, alright. Um, tasks. So we're going to regroup with the point man. A uh, member of uh, the squad took point, regroup with him and report in. And then we assault the village. Bravo are pinned down in the village. Clear it out. And once again, click on the village, and it'll zoom in on where the village is. So let's jump on in. Um, so th this is going to showcase infantry. There's uh, overhauled animations. There's improved weapon handling and uh, refined radio chatter. And actually, yeah, um, these are three main points that you should uh, pay attention to. When uh, the guy starts uh, chit-chatting and yelling orders and stuff like that, uh, there is some, you know, regular recorded dialogue, but when you can tell that there's this, the, the built-in dialogue telling you, go to that tree, it does sound a lot more organic than Arma 2. Move 100 meters, front. Sir, I've got lots of enemy Fighting. movement here. Looks like they're all flanking Bravo, over. Copy that, Private. Sit tight. We're almost there. Out. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. Be advised, contact spotted near the village. Do we engage? Over. Follow copy, Alpha lead. Clear to engage. Papa Bear out. Okay, let's go! Alright, so first thing, actually, I just want to apologize for the uh, quality of the video here. Um, I am running an older computer, and like I said, I haven't been able to afford an upgrade for it, so... Uh, if you can deal with this in the meantime, and I promise, well, as soon as I get a better system, I will definitely amp up the quality here. So we found out the point man has been killed, uh, so now we know that there's hostiles in the area, and uh, since I've played this mission, like... But <laughs> at least ten times, well, no, sorry, ten times just trying to record this. Um, ooh, can I aim here? Let's battle. take them down! Uh, <laughs> I've played this many times, so I kind of know where their the enemies typically are. So I, uh, they start to return fire here, and I'm sort of pinned down behind this rock. Now, uh, something I want to point out, you'll notice the, the... Oh, sorry, trying to concentrate here. The, uh... My commander, he gave me an order to attack a guy, and there's a red square. You know, the corners uh, going around uh, the uh, the guy. And I'm trying to... Uh, come on. Okay, uh, sorry. And, uh, you know, that, that tells you, hey, this guy here you need to take out. Um, now, a lot of people might be thinking, hey, that's easy mode. Like, come on, this is, this is armor, right? It's supposed to be like a simulator. And aside from some issues... Grenade. Ah, yes! I'm going to. Give me a second here. Sorry, I to interrupt. Uh, ADHD, I'm going to grenade these guys. Boom! I've got it. Man, Scratch at least one. Um, but yeah, it's, it's supposed to be a simulation, right? So why uh, are these these indicators over the targets? Well, the, uh, the square doesn't show you where the enemy always is. If you have a clear line of sight, yes, the square will go over the enemy. 
However, if you... Ah, crap. If you happen to... Um, you know, the guy happens to go over a hill. Or he uh, runs behind a building or behind cover. What will happen if he's, if he's moving, the square will continue to move as if... Actually, I'm going to heal myself. Uh, as if, you know, it, it projects where it thinks he is. But it's not necessarily where he actually is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and treat myself because I got hit. No, actually, I think I'll probably grab this guy's ammo. It's, it's, uh, that was our point, man. Um, and then we're, I'm going to go ahead and move up. Now, um... So yeah, it, it tells you where the enemy was, or where he's suspected to be, but not necessarily where he uh, he actually is at that time. So, so sometimes if you get too hung up on that little red square, uh, it can mean you know it can mean run. death uh, because you're looking at the wrong place. Whereas the guy actually moved around using cover and is ready to flank you. Um, now, if anyone's wondering why I've got pink, purple. You know, on my uh, on my HUD display thing, it actually comes default white, but I found that was a little bit hard to see sometimes. So I went ahead and I uh, changed uh, the color up to uh, to purple. All right, so I'm gonna move up a little bit here. Uh, this part here, I keep getting killed at, and it drives me nuts. Oh, yep. Grenades! Did I get up? No, I didn't get him. Now I'm pinned down behind this rock. So I'm gonna try to scoot around the side here. Oh, come on! He's right there! Uh, did I take any. Da no! Ah, I stuck my head up too long! Alright, so I went ahead and uh, loaded the, uh, the game up. Um, I had to go off a previous save because. Uh, well, I died. Um, well. This is actually a save after what? Three, three, four playthroughs. You won't actually get a little bit of any context to that because, uh, you know, I died and I'm trying again, trying again. I keep dying around the same place because I'm an idiot. But oh, looks like I might die again. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna cut out footage if it just becomes redundant. All right, so the guy. Oh, let him up. Get down, get down, get down. Oh crap, forgot to reload. Gotta reload. Arkin, I'm an idiot. Alright, <laughs> so sorry about Machine that. I'm, I'm getting a little bit frustrated at this point because it, uh, <laughs> like I said, I've played this through this business so many times and it's getting on my nerves. Because I wanted to make, you know, you know a good impression. Uh, or, you know, I'm, I've come back after a while. Shooting at something. I'm just gonna go ahead and treat myself here. Uh, yeah, you know, I haven't recorded in so long, and it's like, hey, I want to be able to give you guys a good video, lots of action, uh, some you know, solid gameplay. Uh, so I keep playing through the mission, but man, I gotta say, the uh, this mission is a little bit absurd on the difficulty scale, which you know I should expect from uh, from an Arma game, but ah. Uh, so it's a, the infantry showcase in particular I found was really hard, and it was hard straight through the alpha and the beta, um, which I, I played through, but my computer died before the full release came out, and that's what I was waiting for to actually uh, start making videos again, but my computer died before I had that opportunity. Okay, so let's go ahead and move up. I'm out in the open, I'm really stupid. Oh! Yoink! One kill! Two, come on! He's shooting back at me, come on! Come on! Come on, yeah! Take that. Aw, oh, crap, now we lost the guy. Okay, I'm gonna... If I can sneak around here. Now, like a lot of times, that actually... Rifleman, 75 meters, front! Okay, my guy sees someone, but I don't see him myself. It's probably because it's so uh, pixelated. <laughs> I, like I said, I've got... My graphics are right down here. Uh, but anyways... I, I, because, um, I it. forgot where I was going with that. Now, uh, actually, what I just did here, it look, I'll see if I do it again. There you go. Um, that's actually one of the new stances uh, introduced with Arma 3. It's uh, some of the new uh, movement options. Um, in addition to being able to lean left and right, you can actually shift your entire body over even more. So you can, there's basically two different levels of leaning left, two different levels of leaning right. Um, there's the simple, you know, where you pivot at the hips, and then there's the one where you actually move, 
your gun and your entire body over. Uh, so that's what I just did there. And uh, same goes actually with the um, uh, standing, crouched, and prone positions. You've actually got two additional, um, I guess I'll call them sub, uh, stances uh, that you can Nichols, you can go ahead and... Uh, Engaging! Uh, okay, I see one guy on the map. That's just one guy outlined. Uh, there's two different sub stances. So you've actually got low prone, normal prone, high prone, low crouched, Crouched, high crouched, low standing, standing, and then high standing. Um, and that actually really makes Over. things a lot easier and, well, a lot better when you're trying to just peek out of cover. And, uh, you know, I've played so many hundreds of hours of Arma 2, uh, I often forget that, uh, I sometimes, well, eh, I've gotten used to it, but I, I do sometimes forget that those options are even there. Uh, so sometimes I end up poking out more than I really, really uh, should be poking out. Um, and that's just, that's something I'm still getting used to, but it's uh, it's actually really awesome once you learn how to use uh, that system. It uh, really enhances the game a lot. Um, that's actually one of my favorite additions from Arma 3. Now, I don't see the guy. Okay, I got one buddy to my left, one off to just near in front of me. I find I do my best in this game when I just move down, I start walking. Uh... Yeah, okay, so he's moving up. Um, you know, take it slow. This is this is slow, this is tactical. Um, this you know, this is Arma 3. This is not, uh, uh, well, I guess the comparisons most people would be familiar with would be something like, you know, this is not Call of Duty, this is not Battlefield. I think Battlefield would be probably a closer comparison. But uh, I, I really, I don't feel the... Eh, with the exception of a few little cases, uh, it's not really a fair comparison. I, I do find that this mission here, I think whoever designed this showcase was trying to uh, maybe appeal less to the core armor crowd and more to, um, you know, the battlefield guys or someone who wants that instant action. Because I feel like this is just one big action trip and it's... Uh, uh, they added lots of enemies, there's lots of shooting, there's ex explosions, uh, you know, it's... It's, uh, it's, it, I get that it's a showcase, but at the same time, I don't feel like it's, uh, it showcases what infantry is capable of in the, the game, but it doesn't necessarily show us what, um, what, we don't, what makes Arma really that special, um, see, now I'm mo leaned a little bit left, now I lean second degree left, and up in the top right, if you look at my stance indicator, there's a little arrow that shows, you know, if I've gone to that little extreme, but yeah, so I, I feel it's, the, the engine itself is good, but some of the level design for this, this like, this showcase in particular, uh, it's a little bit on the, uh, strange side. Uh, and I'll get to a little bit more of that in, in just a little bit. Um, let's see here. Now, now uh, like I did say, uh, before, I, I've played this mission many times. Um, Okay, so we 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 we've got the uh, the village. Go us, yeah. Um, see, I, I know what's going to happen next. Oh, and I love this point. <laughs> it's made, it's made things so much uh, easier. Once I get to this point, I'm like, save. All right, we're near the end of the mission. Uh, but anyways, the um the big thing that I am uh darn it, ADHD. I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yes, about Arma, is that uh, because there's very little that's actually scripted. Um, like a lot of the stuff, the, the text, the chatter, the objectives, there there is scripting there. Uh, but what happens, the way the mission plays out, is totally dynamic. Uh, the enemies are said, "Hey, we're here." Okay, so we got incoming mortar fire. All right, so I have been. No, oh, there's an example right there of the enemy not actually being there. But yeah, there's an example of the absurdity. All right, there's uh, some a mortar team or some spotters raining mortars down. I get alone. Me myself gets volunteered to go ahead and stop them. So I'm not going to bother waiting for our own team to locate them. I'm, I know where they're at, so I'm going to go there. Uh, no, there's another nice little dust cloud. Um, but yeah, because. The uh, the game is dynamic. Um, 
the, you know, they have their own AI. They they figure out how to go through the mission. There was a lot of times I'd get to the village and my entire team was already dead because they were stupid. So, you know, that makes the game a lot harder when your own team just, just gets wiped. Um, arguably, I like that because it means no two player throughs are the same. So it keeps that level of challenge. It's not holding your hand. But... It does make things a little bit uh, absurdly hard sometimes. So, uh, you know, it's it's one of uh, I I think it's Arma's. Uh, I'm specifically I'm talking about the entire series, but I'm, you know, I am playing Arma three, uh, and I think it's one of Arma 3's greatest strengths uh, as well as one of its biggest weaknesses. Um, so it, it, I think it's better. It's, it's it's more advantageous than it is uh, than it is. Uh, Disadvantageous. So, all right. So there's the live feed we get. It's like, oh look, there's some spotters. Oh, we even got them on thermal. Look at that. And there they are on the map. So I'm pretty close to them. Let's go over there and uh, ruin their day, and then we can all go home, boys. So I'm gonna sneak up. I think I'm gonna grenade them. Yeah. Let's see here. Um, how far away am I? Oh, that's convenient. All right. Uh, 28 meters, yeah. Oh, crap! Crap, he's right there! He's right there! I don't think the grenade did squat. I don't think I'm able to throw that far. Alright, I took him down, and... There's... Plural. There's gotta be spotted. Let's go full auto on this guy. Ready, and... Spot is neutralized! They wanted me to be a Rambo, so what, what can I say? I'm Rambo. Uh, I'm gonna actually grab this guy's gun. I'll show you. Um, oh, there we go. I don't have enough, a lot of ammo. Let's see if I can. Nope, that's not. Uh, this guy's probably got some ammo. I'll show you the other gun because I've been using one gun this whole time, and you know we're trying to showcase infantry. So it's all right. We got to retreat now because there's heavy artillery coming in. Oh no! There we go. Ugh. I do love the gun sounds. I, I really feel like they uh, they beefed that up. That sounds uh, f sounds pretty nice. Oh yeah! Mm. So good. Soundtrack's not too bad either. So and. I, I, you know, I, I'm sort of like awestruck at this point. I'm like, I finally did it after hours and hours of recording to try to get you guys this this <laughs> this footage. Um, I I finally did it, and I just hope that my commentary uh, was uh, just as good because I was getting a little weary. I was like, oh man, I gotta. I, I'm pretty. I've repeated myself like a hundred times now, right? So I'm like, oh, do I gotta do this again? Mission completed. Yeah. And there's the artillery coming down. So, um, that, that's it. That's the infantry showcase for uh, Arma 3. You successfully rescued our forces and neutralized the spotters, despite being forced to retreat. Uh, that's, uh, you can pause and read that yourself. So I got, what, four, five kills. Eh, not bad. Two casualties. Um, well, anyways, um... Thank you all for watching. Uh, I, it's gl I'm glad to be back. I'm hoping to bring you guys more videos. Um, and, um, well, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Mo no, more than, I <laughs> more than I enjoyed actually making the video because uh, uh, this was a little bit weary. But the, the, the other ones should go smoother. But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Um, and uh, until next time, game on.